Hello, today we are going to learn how to control a home light over the internet using Cayenne Dashboard. If you go to Google and type in Cayenne Dashboard, I think the first one to pop will be the one that we are going to use. If you click on it, you have a login interface. Maybe if you don't have an account yet, you can go ahead and create one. But if you have one, you can follow along with me. I'm going to log in using my email and password then click on login then after I am logged in successfully I am asked to choose the device that I'm going to use with my project in the basic we have Raspberry Pi, Arduino, LoRa and bring your own thing in my case, I am going to use the Wemos D1 Mini, which is a version that supports, which is an Arduino version that supports ESP8266, which means more like the Node MCU and uh, Wemos D1 R1. So you can see that we don't have ESP8266 in this list. That's why we need to choose bring your own thing. I'm going to click on bring your own thing. Then the, the second step is to connect your device. How are we going to connect our device? We need to use the MQTT protocol. MQTT is message queuing telemetry transport, which is a lightweight message protocol that was developed by IBM in the early 1990s. So which means it allows sensors, maybe devices, microcontrollers to transfer lightweight data into the cloud so we're gonna need the mqtt username which is this one right here we're gonna need the mqtt password the client id these are very useful information if you see down here you see that the ball the, the dashboard is waiting for the board to connect so when is the board going to get connected we need to go to our Arduino IDE then start coding the first thing that we need to include is the Cayenne dashboard which is written like this notice if you don't have it you should download it ESP8 which is the Cayenne MQTT ESP8266 H. we need to also uh, define a debugging thing for Cayenne, which is Cayenne debug. Next, we need to define, sorry, we need to define a function that allows us to print things onto the Cayenne dashboard, which is print serial. Then we need to connect our dashboard to the Wi-Fi I'm going to define the SSID, it is an array, then I'm going to put in my Wi-Fi, which is Zoom 101, then go ahead and put in the password, the Wi-Fi password, sorry for the wrong spelling, password, which is um, uh, Zoom, I mean 101, X um, 101 then we need to you to to use these data right here that we have we need to define the MQTT username the MQTT password and the client ID if we go back <clears throat> I'm going to define username I'm going to do that in a while. We need to copy those from the dashboard and put in there. We need to also uh, define the MQTT uh, password. Uh, password, just like that. We need to also specify the client ID, just like that. but this one is a character 
Then I need to go to my dashboard and copy everything. I need to copy the MQTT username, bring it to the dashboard. I mean, bring it to the codes. I need to bring the MQTT password, put it into my codes. Like here. Go ahead and copy the username, the client ID. Put it into my password. Yeah. Then, as we're using Arduino, we need to put in our basic functions, which is okay, in void setup first. Set up. Open its block and close it. And put the void loop where we put we will most of the time put everything. Open it and close it. Then because we're using a relay module to turn on our bob, which is connected like this, we need to define a value that is going to be the digital value to control our light. In my case, I'm going to call it relay. I'm going to give it an int and call it relay. I'm going to put it in D1. And I'm going to go down into the void setup, then begin these values right here that we declared. First thing I need to is to do use this function cayenne.begin open and close bracket. So now I need to put in the username. I'll go ahead and copy and paste. Put in the MQTT password. I'm also going to need to put in my client ID. Just like that. Next, I need to put in my SSID, which connects us to the Wi Fi and the password. So now I need my relay to be off when the program starts. That's why I need, uh, I need to first define the pin mode off where we're going to connect our light as output because it's, it turns on something, it's an output. Then I'm going to go ahead and turn it off at first. Digital, using digital write, which means I need to turn off my relay, which is relay. I'm going to put it low. Then we're going to go ahead and head. We are a few steps from then we're going to go ahead and start the Ky we are in the Arduino loop, but we need to loop our Cayenne dashboard. This is why where we use the Cayenne loop function. Then we need to define a function that is going to turn on and off the button to turn on and off the bulb, which is we're going to use a function called Cayenne in capital in then we need to specify the channel through which we are going to communicate our board and the dashboard. The channel, in my case, I'm going to be using zero, channel zero. Next, I need to now turn on or off digital, digital, right, relay. Digital write relay, but I am going to use this function called get value, which means we are getting a value from the dashboard, but as an integer with this fu specific function. Yeah, just like this. So now we need to compile and upload to We need to compile and upload to our dashboard. First, I need to check if my board is connected. Yes, of course, in Compact 3, I need to check if it's the right board. Then click on Upload. I don't even <laughs> try to, you know. Now, after uploading the code successfully, you're going to see that something has changed into your dashboard looking like this. This is my device. 
and this is how the dashboard is looking now which means it has been connected successfully now we need to add a button to control our light we need to go to add new i'm going to scroll down and go to device or widget i need to go down here and choose custom widget i need to choose a button because we are controlling a light then go ahead and give it a name make sure the device that is chosen is the right one i'm gonna call it home light just like that so now i need to go down here and specify that it's um digital actuator because a light is a digital actuator i'm going to choose unit as digital zero and one because if it's zero the light is off if it's one the light is on I need to specify the channel. Remember, we chose zero. I need to put in the channel zero. I'm going to give it an icon. Choose this one and add widget. Click on add widget. In a few moments, after I click add widget, you're going to see that I have a beautiful button right here. I can, you know, readjust it and make it be, look a little bigger. So when I click on it, my light is on. When I click on it my light is off perfect 